Letter of day to number 10, Friday the 14th of December 2012. Dear Mr Cameron, You and George Osborne rattle on about fairness as if it's the national mantra. But whether it was a slip of the tongue or not, when you said in Prime Minister's question time yesterday, we are raising money for the rich, perhaps you failed to notice it because it was the literal truth. In order to promote a lie, you have to be constantly aware and present to the lie because it takes a degree of alertness and energy to maintain it where the truth does not. The truth doesn't need spin doctors, advisors and PR experts to maintain it because it exists independently of the commentator or observer. It exists as a reality that the observer and commentator can merely affirm or deny. And it is in denying it that such slips as yours are made in an inattentive moment. Osborne's favourite little anecdote about the worker and the closed curtains of his neighbour sleeping off a life on benefits as unfair is, in reality, the exact opposite. It is a lie because the worker and benefit recipient are on a level playing field. Their opportunities and challenges are very similar and the line between them is a fragile one at best. This colourful anecdote is used to disguise and divert attention away from the reality that gave rise to your little slip, that you are creating opportunities for the rich and crushing the poor. In your and Osborne's mouths, fair means foul, and try as you might, nothing can disguise that reality that we, ordinary people, have to live with on the ground. Keith